A Malaysian singer harassed for removing hijab. This is in Malaysia as well. Number three, let me see the summary. Malaysian singer Zizi Kirana has asked people to stop harassing her on social media after she decided to stop wearing the hijab. Okay, I don't know who you are, but that's a very bad tactic because asking people on social media to stop harassing you is the most guaranteed method of getting more people to harass you. Um, but okay, the, the summary continues. The 35-year-old had don't, don't, don't removed this headscarf during Ramadan this year, but chose to remove it recently. Oh, don't, no. So she actually, I don't know what don't is. Don, put don, it on. She put donned it on. the headscarf. Okay, so during, the Ram, during Ramadan, she decided to put her headscarf on, and guess she got a lot of like, yay, um, you know, a lot of people saying like, oh, great, this singer who we like is now putting her job on. But after Ramadan, she decided to take it off. She recently took it off after deciding that she wasn't ready for the commitment yet. She said, I feel like it's better if we just pray for good things to happen among us instead of hurting ourselves by attacking others, said, said ZZ. This is the second time the star chose to uh, sport the hijab during Ramadan, her first being in 2019. I think she was trying to virtue signal to her Muslim audience with the hijab, and now she regrets it. <laughs> like I shouldn't have, I should have just stayed away from this thing. Uh, you can't win with these people. Like you give, if you give them an inch, then you can't be like, okay, now I'm gonna take it off. Like they're like, no. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think she's like, it was a bad idea that she even put it on? If she... I mean, with a, I mean, here's something like, if she put it on on her own choice, that's like fine because uh, yeah, it's choice. But my problem is with many like leftists all around the world who are like, oh, once you have subscribed to a religion, you should respect it and everything. Like they. I mean, the left uh, left wing all around the world tend to be pro-Islam for some reason, and that really bugs me up. And I've seen some uh, leftists like inserting her for removing it and inserting the religion. And many of them were like, "Oh, you shouldn't have like uh, done it once you decided to put it on and everything." Like, that's just crazy. Like, isn't isn't the thing about left like being pro-choice with a if you choose to don something or remove something, but that's so. I think that's really hypocritical of the left. Well, I'm going to agree with you about the left, and I think it's a fetishization of hijab. Actually, it's their they fetishize it. Uh, I like to call it the new Orientalism, um, but with regard to the singer, I'm not really sure. Like she said, she wasn't ready for the commitment, so she used to not wear the hijab, then she decided to, so people were upset because they thought she was becoming more religious, but now she's not. Like, it's not really clear. And then she makes this point where she says um, she's stressed out for people who are being furious because I'm not wearing the tudung. Is that a Malaysian word for hijab, or is that another Malaysian garment? I don't know. By the way, I don't know why you guys mentioning leftists. She's getting a backlash from Muslims in Malaysia. Well, he, I was, I was no, piggybacking I off of his. I know. No, I, was, I was just mentioning the case, like oh. I've seen, and she. Oh. I mean, she has received backlash from Muslims. Yeah, true. But I was just. Uh, Stating that the hypocritical stance of leftists all around the world was supported. All right, but, like, but let's forget the left. Let's focus on the but, Malaysian Muslims. Yeah. But that's what I think. I think maybe that she's, you know, like they were excited maybe because they thought she was being coming religious and now she's not. But I don't know what the Tudung, T U D U N G, is that a Malaysian hijab? I don't know. Is that it's another this... type of Malaysian yeah. dress? I don't know. See, what is, what, so, what, 
with Islam is a one way contract. Like you, if you go deeper in Islam, you can't just go back. Like no, you know you have already you're Muslim now. You can't. Yeah, but go on. Sorry, you were saying, Rifka. So what I'm saying is I'm just not really sure. Like it sounds like she's and then she said a romance with a ustaz isn't off the cards for her either. So it's almost as if it's like some sort of gossip magazine about this woman. Like, she's not wearing hijab, but then she is. And maybe she's going to have a romance with an Islamic teacher. Who knows what's going to happen? Oh. I, I can't figure out, like, what... It's almost, like, honestly, reading this, it's as if she's, like, maybe manufacturing the controversy. I don't know. Well, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. But it just seems know. like gossip magazine ish when they said she added a romance isn't off the cards for her. E you know, like what? Yeah. Like, I just it seems strange to me. Actually, I like seeing the live chat is saying like yeah, Tudang is the Malay word for head covering. It is okay. worn by the Malay Muslim according to hijab standards. Okay, that's I what I thought, but I wasn't sure. I might, I mean, this might be a good thing because when, and for Malaysian people to get, you know, start, you know, to get more frustrated with Islam, telling women what to do. Anyways, in the Facebook, the comments are from Gabriel. Gabriel is saying, apparently, the it's my choice to wear or wear or not excuse is only valid when they wear it and not when they don't. Exactly. I mean, to be fair, Gabriel. I mean, to be fair, Gabriel, in Islam, this should this is not a choice. This shouldn't be a choice. I mean, it's a, it's haram or halal. It, you have to do it. Um, I, I mean, are you okay? It depends on what are we talking about. When it comes to choice, are we talking about the laws of the country, or are we talking about forced by family, or are we talking about being forced by God because you go you pay for it in hell? And it's not being forced by family or by the government. It's just God is telling you that you're going to get punished for it. Uh, or is there social pressure? So these are four different elements and for you to decide whether it's forced or not. And it's different from country to country, right? Um, Abhiji is saying hijab is a choice, dot, 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 of men. So he's like, yeah, okay. Uh, Martinez is saying looks more beautiful without hijab. Oh, actually, something about looking beautiful with or without hijab is very interesting because a lot of Muslims, when a woman decides to start wearing the hijab, they say like, oh, my God, you look so much more beautiful with hij in hijab. But these, this is because these Muslims don't understand the point of hijab. If you look more beautiful with hijab, then your hijab is not working, <laughs> right? The whole point of hijab is for you to not be as attractive. So, so if you look more, better in hijab, then maybe you should take off the hijab because the whole point is not to look so good. Uh, Martin is saying the Malaysian passport is very strong. Leave the country, start somewhere else where you would feel good about yourself and not have to worry about being attacked. I mean, the Malaysian passport is, if it's being strong, that doesn't mean you can stay where you're going. Um, yeah, okay. Let me see. Smithy is saying, okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, Anastasia is saying they're being sexualized. Yeah, yeah. It's actually very disgusting when they put hijab on, on children because the whole point of Hijab is desexualizing. That's the whole point of hijab, desexualizing, right? I mean, the point of hijab changes in time and in place and based on culture, but the main point is to desexualize. The main point of hijab is for men to protect their property against other men by desexualizing their sex properties. That's all. That's all. Anybody that tells you otherwise. Either is lying to you, or they don't understand anything about this law. But Shopam, I hear a lot of background noise, so it seems like you want to say something. No, I, w I just <laughs> wanted to reply to Michael. Uh, Michael Sherlock, uh, I don't do gym. I'm a lazy ass. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys, keep it on topic. Okay. The topic is ended right now. No, Sh Shopam, don't encourage when we need to stay on the news, okay? 
Um, all right, next news. Atheist Michael Sherlock, keep it keep it on the topic. Oh, let me see. P is saying, yeah, Armin, like how I cover my table with a lace coat. Okay, I don't know what. Okay, number news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also. If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh like oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> But we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us Deprioritize what does that mean? That means we're not we don't show up on the suggested You know videos on the right and all that, you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 